Hi, this is Mark Isaac from the Guru Garage here in St. Louis, and today we'll show, give you a couple examples of how to do a quick check on a coilover plug system. And we're simply going to use a test spark plug and a test light. So uh, the first vehicle we'll feature is this Toyota Corolla, and I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, COP they use here on this one. Uh, these ones do have the ignition module inside the coil itself, so we're going to just test the integrity of the coil and its ability to fire across uh, a, a gap this test spark plug that will equivalent to 25,000 volts. Okay, I'll show you uh, how the Toyota is laid out here. This is a 2010 Corolla and they use a four wire coil. Uh, basically you got B plus, ground, a feedback circuit and a trigger. So what we're going to do is we we'll use this T-pin to back probe the trigger circuit and pull our coil out and put our test spark plug to a good ground and with the ignition turned on we've got a test light here hooked up to B plus we're going to use this reduced voltage to act like the trigger from the computer on that circuit. And if the coil's in good condition, it should be able to jump this uh, 25,000 volt gap that's established in this test plug. And as you can see, it easily jumps it with a bright blue spark. So basically we're just using the test light as a substitute for the computer trigger. Uh, the Toyota's operated a four volt you know, uh, trigger from the computer to fire the coil. So uh, we'll move on and show you a similar setup for a, a typical GM uh, four wire setup. Okay, uh, let's move on here to a different vehicle. Uh, as we saw in our Toyota, uh, we're working on this Chevy truck here. We're going to be able to trigger this coil in the same manner that we did uh, previously. The GM system here uses a four wire coil, power, two grounds, and a trigger. And so uh, we've got it already staged, got our key on, got our test light hooked up to B plus, and we're gonna provide the signal to the trigger wire to fire this test spark plug. So as you can see, it has no problem uh, jumping the gap there equivalent to 25,000 volts and in the future when you're working on other vehicles that use uh, ignition module type coils just go in and identify uh, in your circuitry your power ground and your trigger find out what the approximate voltage is and use this as a quick tip hope you find it helpful and visit us again at the garage gurus thank you